everyone, it's Sophie Watson back with your Cards of the Week, helping corporate and entrepreneurial men and women to get back in control of stress and anxiety and create a life that you love. So this week the cards are lovely, it's really exciting, so um, I'd love to hear if these resonate with you. So um, once I've done the, the reading, just let me know, just comment down below and tell me if these resonate with you. Um, so the first card that we've got this week is the Compass. So this is all about um, things may be happening at the moment that you haven't experienced before, um, but it's actually, it's all good. Um, and you may feel a little bit lost, um, but that's only temporary. <clears throat> this is all about moving forward and experiencing things in a slightly different way. Um, it's also about knowing that you are on the right path and it's a more fulfilling pathway for you than it has been previously. And this isn't about material things. It's not about money. It's not about um, property or abundance and all of that stuff. It, that's not what it's about. This is about you feeling good within you and actually doing things to your highest purpose. This is like you following your, your purpose in life. The next card we've got is the Golden Palace. Another lovely card, which I'm gonna to read to you what it says in here because it, these, these cards all link in so nicely together. Um, <clears throat> one thing to remember though, going back to the compass is that you need to trust and have faith uh, that you are on the right pathway and everything is gonna work out. Because as, as I said, if you're feeling a little bit lost, it's only temporary. So the Golden Palace says, there is always enough. The Golden Palace card represents good fortune, ambitions fulfilled, wealth and prosperity. It also indicates emotional fulfillment, as perhaps you're entering into a time of happiness that's long overdue. The message here is that self-worth isn't measured by, how, by what you have, no matter how abundant your life is. Instead, it comes from what you are, how authentically you are living your life and how much love you are willing to share. Granted, receiving this card does indicate material gain and furthering of tangible rewards, but things come and go and knowing your true value leads to even greater riches now. Share the wealth. So you can see how these cards actually link so nicely together because it's like you may be feeling lost, but actually you're actually finding your true self, you're finding your true path and your purpose in life. And then the last card that we've got is Spark, okay? And this is indicating that it's a really good time to um, start new ideas, start new projects, new relationships. It's about being connected with others as well. Um, and it is about more meaningful connection, the more meaningful connection with other people, but yourself as well. So this week is lovely. It's, it's all about you learning who you are, following the right path for you, getting more in touch with who you are and what makes you happy at the end of the day. So guys, I'm really looking forward to hearing your comments, seeing your comments about if these are resonating with you. Um, let me know how you've got on the past couple of weeks as well. And if you feel that this would benefit somebody that you know, just tag them down below, share it with them. Um, come and like my Facebook page as well because it's always gonna be on a Monday in the evening. I post these cards of the week to so help you with the rest of the week and guide your way through it. So I look forward to hearing your comments, seeing your comments, and I'll be back again next Monday. Take care. Bye.